Hey, this is John the Anti-Marketer, just in my outdoor office today, um, and got some nice sunshine here in Vietnam, but just doing some tech training this morning. Um, I've been asked how you customize uh, a Webinar Jam Ever Webinar uh, registration button. And so uh, we're going to go through the steps in that. And so uh, if you use Ever Webinar, you'll know what I mean. Um, you get a button that kind of just looks like like this. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to step you through the, the, the reasoning and, and the code behind it. And I'm just going to show you how you do it in Lead Pages and in Thrive. Um, and, and hopefully the principles apply to your other platforms. However, if you have any troubles, um, shoot me an email and, and I, I can shoot it on another platform for you too. So here's the Ever Webinar code. Um, and so what that gives me is that register now button down there. So a whole heap of gobbledygook. If you're not used to, to code, don't, don't get lost in here, it's fine. Okay. Now, whenever you see like class equals, that's usually, depending on, on what the element is, that's usually a styling code. And every page has uses what, what you call CSS, cascading style sheets, to, to style something. So this button is getting its style from a custom style for every webinar. And your software should enable you to override uh, CSS. Okay, and what the CSS looks like is here, I've just, I've got it up. There's the code here. Okay, there it is there. In between these brackets, you can select a background color, a font weight, you can select the font family, you can transform it to capitalized, uh, you can do whatever you want, a border. Um, so I just, firstly, I want to, that's the code there. Okay. Um, and we'll, we'll go and have a play with that code. Now, where this resides on a web page is at the top in the header section. You'll have a style sheet. Um, and so you shouldn't need these codes here, but I'm just going to copy this here. So if I select that and say copy, if I just come to lead pages here, there's, there's my button here. This is what the page looks like, the ugly button there. Right, so in lead pages, if I go to my page styles, I go to my custom CSS, I'm going to say enable. Um, okay, they're just telling you they're not going to support it. All I need to do is post that code in there without that style at the beginning and end, right? Because CSS means it's, it's already looking for a style. So if I paste that in there, I've put just this thick red button just for the purpose of it. Uh, let's just make the border two pixels wide. Okay. Uh, so I think that should be fine. I'm going to come now and update this in uh, lead pages. Okay, hit refresh. See now my button's red, got a thick border, um, and then you know if I click it, it, it gives you the usual ever webinar thing. So uh, let, just to highlight this, come back in here. Again, custom CSS, you should, if you're using ClickFunnels, they'll have a custom CSS, most applications do. Let's just change this to um, uh, just a light gray, so, okay. This automatically saves it, let's hit update. Okay, let's refresh the page. And there we go. You've got a, a gray thing. My battery's running away. Wonderful. Okay, I've plugged myself back in. So um, I'm just going to go and grab that style code again. And I'll put a link. Uh, I'll put this on, on, on a blog page for you so you can go and just copy it, then modify it as you like. So here I've got just a test page in Thrive. Um, again, so with Thrive, you've got all your features. So if you're using Divi, they'll have a similar feature. It's called custom CSS. And how you find that in Thrive is you go to the page setup, you go to settings, there it is there. So I'm just going to grab that code again. I'm going to chuck it in here. Okay, I'm going to hit close. And see, the button has now changed um, to the, the color that I set it. That's as simple as that.
So what you need to do is you need to find where your custom CSS settings are, whether you're using Divi or anything, they'll all have some feature there. Now, if you have a trouble finding it on your platform, I know Kajabi has a place for, for custom settings too. Um, shoot me an email and I'll shoot another video. You, you grab this code and these are the features here. And, and, and you can, you can, there's probably other features too you can, you can add to this. Um, but, but keep it simple. You change your hex color there for your color. You can change your font weight. Um, here's your, you can have the border color the same or a different color. Uh, padding is the spacing within the, the button there. Your font size, capitalize. Uh, so th there's all those features there. You want to keep that code uh, like that. You want to keep the brackets there and your software will understand what you need to do. So I hope you find that helpful. Um, and again, I'm always shooting tech how-tos, so if there's something else you need, um, either subscribe to my channel, send me a message via YouTube or, or through my website.